See, it starts with the letter B, and I really hated that in middle school because if you look at the letter B, it's like two of these huge bumps, and I just thought it was a really fat letter, and I was like, oh God, everyone's gonna look at that, and then look at me and be like, makes sense. <laughs> so I started, I started writing my name with a lowercase b, because I thought it looked slimmer, but then people thought I was uneducated because I wrote my name with a lowercase b. I think all the stress fests up to this point um, have focused on things like crafts and meditation and free coffee, and that's all well and good, but it's a very singular activity. It's something that like you do, you drink a single cup of coffee, you cut a snowflake. But to come to a comedy show and to hear that your experience is the same as somebody else's gives you something really unique and powerful that no craft or activity could ever give you. It's so hard being a girl, especially in the winter, and you have to wear all your layers and stuff, and then you have to pee, um, and you have all your layers. Um, it's really hard to take it off all at once, and then you really gotta pee. So I've peed on myself like uh, 12 times today. And I remember really well, we had a great turnout. We had about an hour of comics, um, and we had a, a real big audience too, which was mostly non-comics, which isn't that normal for an open mic, so that was great to have. My mom called me and she's like, Crystal, uh, honey, I think you should start working out. And I hung up on her and started crying for three hours straight and then took a nap. Like that <laughs> statement just really got to me. Uh, and during that nap, I had a dream about me going up to the Dunkin' Donuts counter, ordering a chocolate cake donut, and a strawberry frosted donut, sitting down and eating them. That's my dream. Um, a lot of the women did touch on uh, sexism or like female issues that they have, which was really fun to have because I feel like a lot of people shit on women who do that, but they also, they, sh they shouldn't. They should be allowed to talk about whatever the hell they want. So it was cool to see that. Um, I'm not a Chinese exchange student. That's actually really offensive. Um, <laughs> I'm actually Mongolian. My people killed their people. I just want to make that clear. I really enjoy like, how all of us ladies can get together and do stand-up together. It really warmed the cuckolds of my like cold, dead heart because when you are a woman in the comedy scene out in Chicago, there isn't always a great number of female representation. Uh, just numbers-wise, there aren't as many of us. And so it was really great to come to the art school, you know, and see that there's a whole generation of lady comics that are like still in school and are just like, they're still in their like little comedy cocoons, you know, and just knowing that they're gonna blossom into badass, powerful lady comics is really wonderful.